Hello and welcome back to the second part of this set of drawings. Um, so I was kind of at a loss for what to talk about since I can only kind of go on about process and stuff so many times before retreading a lot. And I had been talking with friends during a stream kind of about how to go about improving an art and it had been pointed out that I could actually talk about the fact that I did not go to art school and I kind of forged my own path in some ways to improvement and stuff without it. So on that note, thank you, Kirsten, for pointing that out. So yeah, I, I wanted to go to art school for a time. Um, I had originally been going to college for uh, computer science, and I kind of hated it. Um, I had only chosen that for money reasons, um, which is a terrible motivator. It, it's like a motivator that almost literally never works effectively, at least for me. Um, but darned if I was ever going to admit that I hated it, and I was pretty much willing to just altogether crash and burn with it before I ever acknowledged it and said I wanted to bail, which quite nearly happened until I kind of got that kick into redirecting myself. Um, but of course, as anyone kind of knows, art school itself is typically really, really expensive. Like, so expensive that you're going to be stuck with the costs long after you're done with it. And that kind of wasn't so much an option. <clears throat> I had already made a personal goal to myself that I would go through college without going into debt or any... or putting myself in that kind of scenario or having to get a loan or anything. And I did ultimately achieve that, uh, thankfully. Um, I worked pretty much almost every year of college. I did get, you know, an initial startup with a little of help starting into college. But after the first... Hmm, year and a half, two years, I end up uh, just working and paying my way through. Because thankfully at that time, uh, my college tuition was pretty cheap at only about $1,900 a semester to start. Uh, that was back in 2008. And by the time I finished in at the end of 2014, it was pretty much on its way. It was about uh, 20, uh, 2600 at least a semester. I think right now it's floating in the lower 3000s, so it would go up about 200 uh, every year. And so I got really lucky. But what I ended up doing was I I went into graphic design. Uh, and thankfully at that time, there, there was a really good program for an associate's degree initially. And, you know, the classes were from 8 to 3, Monday through Friday, uh, treated like a job in some ways. I actually clocked in and clocked out uh, for lunch or into class and stuff. And uh, for, 
it was at the pace of uh, say one semester would be packed into a quarter so in two years you know we had the equivalent of eight semesters and at the end of that was kind of where I started setting my own path for how I wanted to approach uh, my, uh, getting at least a degree in graphic design without, you know, actually having proper art school, so to speak. And I ended up choosing to use some business and fine arts. Uh, I felt like business would end up coming in handy later, which in a lot of ways it has. Uh, but I took a variety of classes under the fine arts kind of grouping that kind of gave me a taste of a whole bunch of different areas. Uh, but up to this point, as far as illustration has been concerned, I've been self-taught and altogether till today, I would say I've been about 90% self-taught where illustration is concerned. Uh, my first, you know, fine arts classes were pretty fundamental and stuff. Uh, finally, about that, about a year into that, I actually started, you know, drawing from life, uh, doing observation drawings, which gave me a a lot of kind of help in, in my foundations uh, and a lot of kind of what ended up happening was what I consider luck and meeting all the right teachers at the right time and which also uh, kind of to go on one quick little tangent there's kind of one thing I don't so much believe in is talent in so much that it's just it's a whole bunch of time that you've willfully just put into something you find that you really enjoy that no one else kind of sees that you kind of, you kind of put towards a almost extreme and you just kind of come out a, a lot farther a lot faster but no one really sees that progress uh, as you go and then and next to the part the part that come after that was luck being that I think luck is more so you being prepared for when a advantageous opportunity happens to come up so you're in a position to take advantage of something when it does happen now that's how I kind of Bring those two together. Uh, what happened was uh, by taking a sculpture class that had ended up in mean, kind of a connection with some teachers that led to an opportunity to take 3D as well. And I used uh, that for about a year to really also help strengthen things. And about the same time, I had finally had, you know, a fine art class that had gone further with observation drawings into finally having life drawing and actually working with a nude model, which was, which was very helpful. Uh, and, you know, uh, another thing that had, been, that had helped was that that teacher had also kind of mentioned something to me and and my method of drawing, in which I was really, I was really partial to pencils, and I avoided paints or anything. But one day, drawing sheet mentioned, I believe it was that I draw like I'm painting or something. And it was, it was kind of a a little, just one of those little things that kind of. Uh, kind of clicked a little hidden switch that kind of pointed me into a little different 
direction on how I thought about trying to improve stuff, and I, and I would start kind of focusing more on understanding how painting and stuff worked without really doing it. I just understood, started studying more about color and stuff, which was something I was really weak on, and mixing that with the 3D. Um, what ended up happening was, since I didn't, I recognized I wasn't going through, I was getting at least something like an art school without having a, so to speak, proper art school education, and so I ended up making up for it by going so far in that I would spend another six to eight hours after, you know, you know, only having about four hours of art-related classes in a day. So, uh, so that ended up being the way I made up for it, so to speak. And it, it helped push me a whole lot further uh, into, you know, otherwise just seeking uh, my own resources going online, making use of uh, of you know websites, tutorials. Uh, I think Digital Tutors was a really helpful site uh, for picking up techniques, especially in 3D at that time. Uh, just studying other artists, and so ultimately that kind of became my art school, so to speak. Uh, understanding I didn't come out, you know, with all the same accolades that you would probably get for going to one or some of the connections, but I just made up for it with, I guess, not to sound, uh, it's a word, not to sound arrogant, but kind of a uh, just raw determination to just kind of make my own way through but you know that's a, that's kind of just one little bit I think uh, in some of the upcoming videos I'll talk about like specific things as this was kind of like a really abridged summary, uh, I'll, I'll actually maybe do some videos that are a little more related to a particular topic or approach. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that's how we'll go about it next, starting pretty much next week probably do a kind of just a fan art something and I think uh, the next one we'll talk more about using like inspirations and stuff to kind of fuel uh, things so as far as uh, making the time lapse available on this one uh, I'm going to post a follow-up video within the next uh, probably a couple days. Uh, it'll probably have the various time lapses as, and some of the final images. Those will go together on Gumroad. It'll be it'll, it'll be paid. Uh, I can't say exactly how much just yet. Uh, will be between five and ten dollars but yeah that will all be available uh, and I will make an additional video and then I'll kind of retro retroactively add uh, links uh, in the section below for this video and the previous one uh, for all that so uh, keep an eye out for that soon and in the meantime if you enjoyed this video uh, please leave a comment below, especially if you want to ask a question 
or to be a topic that I can talk about in the next one. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all next time. Later.